Hi, in today's video, we are going to have a quick review on how you can easily operate a Fetico coffee brand. Just in case you have this machine, we all know that it brews coffee in large quantities, starting from one liter to four liters. But before we get into the system of this machine, we have another vessel here that supports this machine where we brew our coffee, known as the Lask Fetico Flask Vacuum. But as we start this video, just in case you have this machine and you have this vessel too, I want to tell you something as a barista or as a person who owns a cafe, you are going to face one challenge, which is the temperature. This virtual flask doesn't keep the desired temperature for a long time. Whereby if you brew one liter of coffee, you are going to only keep it for one hour, two liters, two hours, three liters, three hours, and four liters, four hours. And after that, it's going to start losing its temperature. So just in case you are that person who has been complaining about the temperatures of the coffee after a given time, the problem is with the virtual. After making my own research from different baristas in different coffee shops. So listen into the video. Like you see right behind the machine, we have a power button here just in case you have been looking for it and you've not been seeing it. This is the power button off. It lights off and on. So this is the power source, the cable that goes direct into the electricity. And this is the pipe that extracts the water into the water boiler, like you see. Never switch on your machine if this pipe is not connected to the water source. And as you get to connect it to the water source, the water has to be filtered water. So better get a filter and connect this machine. So I'll switch it on. And as we get to switch it on, let's have a look at this slot just right here. Let me first remove this. Okay, this slot basically holds the SD card reader. Just in case you want to update the software of this machine. After seeing where we update our software from, we have the spray head right here. So like you see the spray head, it easily spreads water into the what? Into the coffee once we are brewing our coffee. And after seeing the spray head above us, let's read some warnings here. They say, warning. Spray head may contain extremely hot water. Use care. May cause serious burns. See instruction manual. Allow CSD to all before removing. Do not insert foreign objects into spray head. So like you see, this is our spray head. Cascading spray doom. Like you see, so that's just in case you want to clean it. There is a doom which cleans this spray head. After looking at our quick warning, let's look at the CSD. It also has some warnings right here. It says, caution, before brewing, Brew basket and container must be in place. This is the container we are talking about. Then it has another hot liquid. After brewing, make sure dripping has stopped. Remove the basket slowly. Don't quickly or rashly remove it. This is where we fix it. You fix it inside, then outside. Remove it slowly, not very fast because you may cause any damage. So after looking at all that, let's go to our water tap here. This is the tap where we can easily get hot water, but it also has a warning saying that do not operate during brew. Warning, extremely hot may cause serious damage. So do not open or operate it when you are brewing your coffee, but without brewing your coffee, you can easily remove your water lift for hot water. Then looking at that, let's go to the most important last part, which is the menu. This is a screen touch screen which basically displays our what our menu and once we see it has fetico xts team extractor touch screen manufactured in 2017 cbs-2131 three liters it has ready heating filling touch screen to unlock so basically these three parts are very very crucial so the first one is filling filling basically is going to indicate like you see this white one it's going to indicate that it's trying to extract the water into its what its boiler and as it's extracting we are going to see that heating is also indicating once it indicates it shows that the water is boiling and the ready basically shows that the water is ready to use so let's try to remove our water so as i show you like this we are trying to remove the water and the filling is already indicating that it's trying to extract the water through that pipe like you see it has shaken in to the what into the machine and when it's ready it will show you that it's heating wow this is really lovely once it's ready it will show you that it's ready but we have ready and heating at the same time the temperature is here 95.6 this is the beauty of this machine it shows you everything 96 now heating ready shows you that you can easily use the water since we have some ready part but if you see that the red is not indicating please don't use the what the machine so after seeing the basic review on how you can easily run this machine let's go into these bunches like we see each of these bunches attains a given recipe of brewing a certain coffee so how do you easily set a given recipe within these bunches first switch off your machine 
Then switch it on again, but immediately displace the screen, touch the screen for a few seconds, like we see. I'll quickly touch it and it's going to display the menu. Like you see, that is the menu, the program. So let's have a keen look at the system. It has program one, bunch one, exit, forward, backward arrow, and the down arrow. So let's try to go forward. All right, it has the general temperature. It has the inputs. It has the outputs, others, program. So let's first see how you can easily set a bunch. But I am going to use one of the bunches that we don't use. All right, bunch one, bunch two. Bunch three, bunch four, copy. That basically means that you can copy any of the bunches to a given bunch that you would like to, bro. Then let's continue. Bunch one. So when we scroll down, we are going to see bunch summary, bunch name, bunch volume, brewing time, number of pulses, percentage or pre wet percentage, pre wet delay, drip delay. Then it takes us back to the bunch summary. So let's scroll down and see. Like you see, this is the summary of all the things that were set in bunch one and let's return back so let's go up so after seeing that bunch one is already set let's use one of the other bunches bunch two we scroll down so we have the right to either switch it off or on but since we are going to use it as an example let's switch it on after leaving it on we scroll forward bunch summary display let's have a look at its display as regular to two liters four minutes eight 3%, 30 seconds, 1 minute, and the total brew is 5 minutes. So we go back. And we are going to try to change everything. Let's say we have a name of the coffee, a certain coffee. And we say this coffee is Rwanda. How are we going to set the name inside this bunch? We shall easily go forward. We can either call it regular 1, regular 2, regular 3, regular 4. But this is not necessary because we want to call it Rwanda. We shall go back behind. Then again so when you go back behind it's going to indicate the letters like you see these are the letters we shall go back these are the letters and how am i going to set my name Rwanda? i'll press positive or negative to go backwards to change the letters so we are looking for letter r r s t that is s then we press forward we press plus to look for w Okay, ra, then press forward, we have to look for letter A. We press backwards. Then we press forward, we have to look for N. We go back, back, back to look for letter N. Oh, I've passed it. I'll press positive to go forward. Then we look for letter D. Okay, D. We have to go backwards. Ra, nda. So, A is already A. And arrow, we don't need the arrow. So how am I going to remove the arrow? I'll press, I'll press the minus to remove the arrow. Okay, let's quickly go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So like you see, it even has capital letters. So depending on what you're looking for, it also has numbers like you see, depending on what you're looking for. So when we reach zero, I'll press minus and that will be a dash. Then let's continue and let's continue to remove the two. Okay, so that is the name, Rwanda. Then we go up, you press up to enter. So that is the bunch name, Rwanda. Then we go forward, the volume. How many liters do we want to brew? Let's try to visit the liters. It starts from 0.95 to 3.80. Depending on the amount of coffee that we want to brew, we shall adjust it. Let's say we want to brew one liter. I'll press minus two, one liter. Then we go forward. You just press up to save that. That is one liter. Then we go forward to how many minutes do you want to brew the one liter for? So it starts from two minutes to 10 minutes. And let's say we want to brew it for five minutes. I'll just press and it will accelerate to five minutes. We press back. That is five minutes and zero seconds. Then we go up to save it. And how many pulses do we want to brew our coffee? Let's say we want to brew it at six pulses then we continue how many percent of the pre wetting we shall press down three percent no let's put it at five percent pre wetting we forward pre wetting delay the pre wetting delay basically means the blooming time all right we shall go down and in one liter how many seconds can we give it to bloom let's say 40 40 seconds 
there we go because it starts from zero to one minute so we press enter and press forward drip delay what does this mean every time your machine is trying to brew how long do you want it to wait within the rounds of the brewing then we continue down it starts from one minute to five minutes let's say uh, one minute and 30 seconds then we continue bunch off or on we leave it on and uh, leaving it on we proceed like you see it's displaying the band summary so we are done with setting it and let's look into its summary like you see right to summary bunch name is Rwanda. bunch volume one liter brewing time five minutes number of pulses six pre-wetting percent that is five percent pre-wetting delay 40 seconds drip delay one minute and a half number of time is six minutes and a half like you see it has converted everything and it's telling you that it's going to brew the whole bunch at six minutes so we shall press touch and we go back so we are done with setting it and how are we going to confirm that we have set it so i'll press back and before we proceed to saving our second bunch let's have a look to see other settings we have the general tank temperature here it shows that we have 97 degrees celsius but let's scroll and see from what to what it starts with 77 degrees celsius to 97 degrees celsius but i prefer the highest and i'll leave it there then let's proceed to brew a temperature is it off automatic or on depending on what you want but i'll leave it on off and let's continue to units of measurement the temperature do you want it in celsius or fahrenheit i'll leave it in the celsius then let's continue we go up to echo mode do you want it on or off i'll leave it off let's continue logo timeout how many seconds or minutes do you want it it starts with 15 seconds to five minutes i would leave it at 15 seconds and let's continue brew b sensor do you want it normal or override why do i take it override i'll leave it in normal then we got to use flow jet they say here no or yes i'll leave it no i don't need to change anything the llc sensitivity want it normal or higher leave it in normal then let's continue to tank temperature basically we are done with the general settings let's go up and see the other settings inputs the display inputs the input summary like you see brew basket sensor it's on high liquid level probe it's on tank temperature probe it's on sd card recognize it's off that basically means we don't have the sd card inside that's why you see this box is blank tank temperature at the moment it's 95 degrees salacious we touch to return back to the normal menu then we continue with the inputs cal touch screen that is the calibration i don't need to calibrate it i'll just continue to the display inputs that basically means we are done with the inputs and we proceed to the outputs show the summary okay we continue write value but let's go back let's see the show summary output right brew frr 1780 screen contrast five screen brightness eight that's okay we continue to the right value which is our value test i don't need to test because it's okay then we proceed to the fill value if you want to test it it's okay press to test no i don't want to test it because it's already okay some of the functions don't need to be changed because once you change them you are going to find a problem taking it back hit tester i don't need to test it because it's okay then the screen contrast it's okay and show summary so that is done we continue to the others so we have error codes display errors what codes do we have those are the codes that we have no need to change them then we go copy program do you want from the sd to the system no i don't need because i don't need to update any software so we continue upload logo so i don't need to change do you want yes or no i will press no okay so we go back then reset factory i don't need to reset anything so we shall go back to program that basically means we've seen the system that runs the engine of this machine so let's press exit once you want to save you have to press exit after pressing the exit let's go to our bunches to confirm the second bunch so like you see wow this is lovely it's already run down. we are brewing one liter in six minutes and 30 seconds which is really 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 perfect for our settings so just in case you've been having challenges with setting this machine that is how you can easily set a given recipe within the system of the what of the machine and every time you want to brew that given coffee you just press and touch this then it will start brewing like it's brewing one liter 
within a given time of period and this is the temperature that it's brewing this is the basin that displays the brewing and the down you are going to see that the timing is counting downwards so if you've made a mistake and you want to stop the brewing you just press stop and go back the machine is immediately going to stop so leave a question in the comment section below or you can easily reach me on my instagram facebook youtube and tiktok pages at barista and, and just in case you're new to this channel make it a point to subscribe because where this video came from many more videos are on the way